Hey everybody, I'm here to tell you how to make the first LED circuit that your students will be constructing. You can see in front of me, um, I already have it here, I've made it. Um, I'm just going to explain to you how to put this together so that you know how to do it and you can help the students when the time comes. So what I've done here is I have two AA batteries and you can see I have the red side of one and the black side of the other, those wires are connected. Now this other side might be a little difficult to see at the moment because the light's on. Um, so you can see I have the black wire and the red wire attached to specific legs of the LED actually. So you'll notice that on this LED I have a short leg and a long leg. So the short leg will be attached to the black wire. Let's see if I can get it back in there. So the short leg will be attached to the black wire, the negative side of the circuit, and the red wire will be attached to the long leg. Having a hard time keeping those in place. And that's how you get that circuit to work. All right. Hey, everybody. I have in front of me what is essentially the same LED circuit that we just put together, but now I'm using the breadboard that I previously introduced rather than trying to knot the wires together or to hold them with my hands. So I'm just going to go over this very briefly. Uh, it should be familiar to you. The way we've connected things isn't terribly different. It just looks a little different because we're using the breadboard instead. So I'm going to start over here on this row. So on this row back here, I have a red wire from one battery and a black wire from the other battery. So remember that because they're on the same row, these two wires are essentially touching. So I have these two wires connected via that row. And then on the top here, I have maybe a little more complicated thing going on. So I have this red wire on this row here. And that is in the same row and the same side as the long leg of the LED. Remember the red leg of, or the red wire of the battery must go to the long leg of the LED. And then it goes across that middle portion there. Remember these two sides aren't connected, but they are now because I put this LED half in one side and half in the other side. So now I have across over on this side, I have the short leg of this LED and the black wire of the other battery. And that's a closed circuit. 